Yo, what's up, YouTube's boy, the great Patriot head, DGP, back again with another episode of Patriot Keys. And yes, in this video, you see the title. We're here to talk about Leonard Fournette. And before we get into the video, be sure, you know, this is free 99. It don't charge you nothing. It's, it's not going to cost you anything. Just, just like five seconds, five seconds of your time. Be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. Like the video, comment, share it to a friend. Tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend. You know, if you share with one person, they share with another. You just, you know, three people just, you know, share the video. Go ahead and again, don't cost you anything. But <laughs> enough of all that. Let's get into the video. So Leonard Fournette, man, about a week ago, he uh, got waived by the uh, Jack Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, he's coming up in his rookie deal, wants to get paid. Uh, and the Jaguars said, you know what? We remember when we traded away Jalen Ramsey. Remember we didn't sign back Calais Campbell. All the cheap shots you've been taking. To my fans out here, bro, and all the Jaguars fans, they got rid of the mayor, right? He's the mayor. He's the mayor of Jacksonville. Calais, deep voice, Campbell. Got rid of my dog. My, it was my dog. My dog, Don King, Don King, uh, jail. You hear me? Then AJ Boy, my other, my other age, my, my other age, Boo Coon, you hear me? They just, they, they just killing me right now. They taking all my fault. Oh, and my dog, Yan. Come on now. Niguakwe? Niguakwe? They killing me right now. Who is that one person, Leonard? That's what I want to know. No, nah, I don't I don't I don't say any names, you know, but I mean y'all 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 have a good guess. You know, Leonard Fournette feels like he's justified and maybe he is. You know, he came in that, that 2017 team that played us in the AFC Championship. That was this close, about, about a smidgen close to beating us. However, you know, the the, the GOAT stepped up and playoff Dolan stepped up. But um you know, in that game, ever since then, the Jaguars kind of went downhill. You know, they went downhill and everything. So, uh, they lost all the pieces he kind of came in the league with. And he's just upset, wants to get paid. And the Jaguars aren't going to pay him. So, ended up deciding to uh, waive him the other day. And he cleared waivers. So, now he is a free agent, free to sign however much he wants, wherever he wants. All that great stuff. So, that leads us to the Patriots. After he cleared waivers, they said the New England Patriots were a likely destination. They said they were, he, they were the favorite for Atlanta Fournette. Um, then reports came out and said, nah, the page is not going to happen. Then reports later come out later in the day said that Leonard Fournette is a, a viable candidate for the New England Patriots. The Patriots do have interest. They have already reached out to Leonard Fournette. So where does that lead us? I think that was more so just gauging the market. And remember what I said in my Earl Thomas video, which by the way, we don't not got one, but we got two Earl Thomas videos that I did. Again, be sure to leave a like on, the, on those videos, subscribe and everything. Go ahead and watch it after you watch this video though, you know what I'm saying? Afterwards, so I can get my monetization. I'm trying to be funny and it's messing up but uh with, with that with the whole earl thomas thing i said if you hear the patriots name and free agency stuff nine times out of ten it's probably not going to happen so hearing the letter for next name tied to the england patriots I, I instantly was like it's probably not going to happen uh but with this whole thing let's break it down even further if it wasn't possible if this is realistic you got Sonny Michelle there. Now, Sonny Michelle hasn't had a thousand yard season like uh, Leonard Fournette, who's had two out of his three. The one year he didn't was he was injured for half the year. So we'll talk it up to that. But Sonny Michelle has never had a thousand yard season in his career, his two years in the NFL. Uh, last year he was in the doghouse. However, he has averaged pretty much 900 yards and six touchdowns the, uh, his last two years. Actually, it's funny. He was in the doghouse last year and he did just a smidgen better than he did his rookie year. If you remember his playoff run, the Chargers game, um, you know, who, who else we play? That, that whole playoff run, the, the Rams in the Super Bowl, he was a big component on offense in the running game and everything. And last year, he's kind of dipped a little bit. Wasn't the same guy we thought it was going to continue from that playoff success that he had, but it didn't. Um, going into training camp, you know, we found out he had to get surgery. He's hurt. Uh, he was on the pup list. And that led the way for our rookie that we got last year from Alabama, which Alabama and Rutgers, if you know the Patriots, you know Belichick. Those are like his top two favorite colleges to get talent from. So, uh, Damon Harris has been taking a lot of the snaps, a lot of the load in training camp. Um, and, you know, you still have a James White. You still have Rex Burkhead there. Uh, so with this whole Leonard Fournette situation, you're already looking at four, a crowded backfield of four people. You already have Sonny Michelle. You have Damian Harris, basically his backup. And then you have James White, who's pretty much, I would say, our best running back. And then you have Rex Burkhead, who can kind of do a little bit of both. 
Leonard Fournette is more of a Sony Michelle type person. He's more of a two down back, more of a run on first, run on second down, and then third down when it comes to the passing game, you're going to take him out the game. So you're pretty much getting another Sony Michelle uh, with Leonard Fournette. And again, you have Damian Harris, who you really highly on. It just doesn't make any sense to get Leonard Fournette, who doesn't add much in the passing game. And he's pretty much a Sony Michelle duplicate. Like if I had to compare who, if I had to say Sony Michelle was act like this running back, Leonard Fournette is the perfect comparison. So. Maybe this is more so something with Tony Michelle because his contract comes up next year, I believe. So maybe they're like, hey, look, this running back class coming up is stacked, Sony. So you either going to get with the program, you get better, or you want to make sure that you're going to take this pay cut and stuff. Maybe that's the message Belichick sending. And again, also to just gauging the market, seeing where his head is at, not just for now, but potentially for the future. Because probably it'll be a one-year deal wherever he signs. And then depending how it looks, maybe Belichick's like, I remember we had that conversation before. Let's let, let, let's talk a little bit. So uh, we'll see how that all turns out. My personal feeling, I don't think it's anything's going to happen. Maybe just a gauge it in the market. Uh, in case Sonny Michelle is hurt, uh, Damian Harris, uh, he's not getting the job done. Maybe I, if Sonny Michelle, somebody get hurt. Hey, we got Leonard Fournette to rely on. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section below, man. I personally feel like that Sonny Michelle is, is going to be the guy. And again, Leonard Fournette, this whole uh, gauge in the market stuff is more so just, just seeing his prices and everything. But, you know, that being said, uh, shout out to the late, great John Thompson. Uh, but this is your boy, DGP, man. Again, be sure you like the video, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, man. Again, I love being back. Uh, if you got any uh, new topics you want me to talk about, anything, I don't know, historical topics, I may do a video on Edelman versus Wes Walker. I may do that. Maybe. Potentially. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. may be able to do that. But let me know if you like that idea and stuff. But this is your boy, DGP, man. Again, I love y'all, man. Stay safe. And hey, man, let's get through it, man. Another day. Catch y'all next time, y'all. Peace.